back to day one of Daily Planet Goes West. I'm Jay Ingram. I'm Ingrid Cavallars. Now, you know, Ingrid, when you're here at the top of Whistler and it's snowing to mm -hmm. beat the ban and there's millions of skis, you'd think that's all Canadians do, ski. Yes, but you do know that hockey is the most popular sport in Canada. We have, yep. we have field hockey, we have street hockey, we have floor hockey. Not to mention ice hockey, but, mm -hmm. you know, street and floor hockey flourish despite the fact you can't use the puck, it hurts too much, and nobody likes the, that orange ball. Yes, but the man in the next story, I think, has solved that problem. Every week in Prince George, British Columbia, Mark Peruchny and his buddies get together for a friendly game of floor hockey. Uh, I've been playing floor hockey uh, for about 25 years now. Mark's always loved the game, but he's never been happy with the pucks. The big flaw with the plastic pucks was uh, they had no dynamics of a puck. They had no weight. Uh, they didn't fly very well. Uh, you couldn't shoot them very far. And it hurts if you get hit by this. So he switched to an orange ball. The ball at least had some weight, so you could make a pass across a, a gym floor and it would actually get there. But Mark wasn't happy with the ball either. There were drawbacks to the ball too. The passes tended to bounce over your sticks. The stick handling uh, capability with a ball is, is, is very hard compared to a puck. The goalies also have their gripes. Well, it, it wavers back and forth and curves around and, <laughs> you know, it just doesn't come nice and true. I'll stretch this out. So Mark decided to take matters into his own hands and build a better floor hockey puck. One that could be played like a real hockey puck. Something that could be passed, held on a stick, a puck goalies could get their glove on. Something that acted like a hockey puck, but didn't hurt like the orange plastic balls and pucks did when you got hit. The first challenge was finding the right materials. I took old beat up skidoo boots with felt liners and cut out uh, the pattern of the, of the disc and literally sewed leather and felt combinations together to uh, try to make it slide, make it durable and make it act like a hockey puck. His first puck was leather on top and felt on the sides. I didn't like the way that the leather slid on the floor. Uh, I thought, geez, it'd be great if I could get the felt to slide on the floor and I could get the leather on the outside edge where the hockey stick is contacting the puck. But sewing leather around the felt proved to be too difficult, so he started looking for glue. I experimented with adhesives for quite some time. I think I tried uh, just about everything there was from carpenter's glue to uh, Loctites uh, uh, to just about any glue I could get my hands on and they all seemed to have had their faults. Then one day during some home renovations, he stumbled on the solution. I was uh, laminating a countertop. When I was uh, putting down the countertop, I had a, a pint of flexible rubber adhesive in my hand. And I thought to myself, this is quite heavy. And that's when I had the revelation that, holy smokes, this might not only just bond the puck together, but it might be able to act as the ballast weight for that puck. <laughs> the next challenge, figuring out how much adhesive to add to the puck. The glue is important not only for holding the materials together, but it gives the puck weight. Finally, he found just the right amount. Sorry, this is a trade secret. So time to test it out. First stop, Nuco Elementary School. Every day at lunch hour, the kids play floor hockey. Most of the kids here have played with the orange puck, so they know what it feels like to get hit by one. If an orange puck hits me, it hurts a lot. So they were more than happy to try something softer. It uh, handles very good, like a real puck, and it doesn't hurt as much as the regular ones, the orange ones. I would rather play with a petition puck than the orange puck. I got my first goal this year with the new puck. And the school principal is happy with it, too. And if we can do anything to encourage the kids to run and be active, and enjoy themselves and have some fun doing it in a way that's more safe than it's a better product. Safer for kids is a big plus, 
But did Mark succeed in making a puck that can play like a real hockey puck? We'll let you be the judge. And here's the pass out of his zone. It's a long one right across the gym. And it lands right on that stick. Good stick handling here. The puck is staying right on the floor, not bouncing around at all. Good save by the goaltender. The pressure continues, and he scores. Looks like Perushni has scored a winning goal with this puck. So what do you think about that, Jay? I think it just shows what Canada's all about, mm -hmm. right? That isn't ice hockey, it's floor hockey, but a guy is inventing a new puck. <laughs> it's an obsession in this country. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Still to come on Daily Planet Goes West.